doing. Mm -hmm. I always feel like it's starting to take some getting used to teaching at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm usually coming in in the afternoon, so apologies for that. Bear with me today, guys. I really, I just got out of work about three hours ago, so Ooh. apologies. I had to go in for a late call. Um, man, this room is kind of funny. I'm going to have to be going back and forth, yeah. but I still got the juice. I have more juice and business. So basically today, guys, I, today we're going to line up. Um, we're going to go over the syllabus. Guys, real quick, this is uh, small parts, superficial parts, okay? Everybody should have the syllabus on their desk, correct? Superficial structures and advanced practices. 2020. <laughs> good eye, good eye. I will change that. And then everything else should be good. Everything else should be good. So again, 7 o'clock, guys, 17. Superficial structures and advanced practices. So we're going to be covering thyroid, scrotum, breast, you know, some uh, some PD stuff like the PD head. You know, most importantly, this is we're going to learn anatomy, you know, structure, function, you know, of all these different parts. And we're going to go over the syllabi in one second. Okay. Um, first off, welcome back again. Welcome back again. I got a whole the whole day planned for us. Um, today, I'm not gonna lie, I gotta be 100% honest. I hate not being prepared, but uh, I gotta get this class going because when I, I was told this syllabus was, I mean, this this uh, lecture was already made, right? Unfortunately, when I looked at the lecture, it's so vague. So I got I gotta put a lot more work into it. So apologies, my lecture today gonna be, eh, my semantics won't be the best, but on Friday when I come back, mm, I'm coming back hard. All right, Ms. Shepard and I, we're going to team teach this class. Um, she will be teaching you guys the pathology. I'll be teaching you guys all the normal, normal anatomy. Okay. Because, uh, and that's because this book right here, I'm not too familiar with this book yet. Um, this is my first time teaching this class, so I got to get more familiar with this book. Maybe during the next part of anatomy, um, I'll, be, I'll be ready for the, um, the pathology thing. So, in the meantime, guys, I sent you guys the PowerPoint for this class, for, for this first lecture on the thyroid. We're going to start off on the thyroid. So today, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go over the syllabus, then I'm going to kind of um, start the lecture, and then I'm going to take you to guys to the lab and show you how to do a thyroid, because it's a, you have a comp that you possibly could do this semester on the thyroid. So, I want you guys to kind of know, because I've seen some people yesterday, not trying to call anybody, but just kind of sitting around in, cl in clinic, you know, and you know, of course, if you don't know what to do, then you know, you don't know what to practice on. So I kind of want to at least give you guys something to be able to practice on while you're in clinic. So at least you can kind of practice on the thyroid. I'll give you like um, as much information as I can uh, on the thyroid. I have the actual um, protocol right here I'm going to give to you in a little bit, but we're going to start over here. We're probably going to end in the lab. And then I'm going to probably, this class probably won't be too long today because, um, man, I just got a bunch of excuses that I'm not going to tell you. But, uh, <laughs> let's get started, guys. Let's get started. Real quick, what do y'all think about the uh, the new room? It's no. No? 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 They, really? said, there's no way they, said, they said that. They said that the dimensions of this room were supposed to be exactly the same. Yeah, well, it looks smaller. We were longer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think this room is, is the other wider one wider. Room. Well, actually, it's not because this door and this door are exactly it's the same. The same. Mm -hmm. it's the just, width uh, is the same. It's just a length. With the way it's layout. It's a little deeper. This one's yeah, a little deeper. Okay. Well, they're over there packed in there like uh, sardines. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar is pretty packed. Now, I'm sure they have it because they have the window. Yeah, yeah. Me personally, it doesn't it don't really matter to me because uh, we have the the wireless mouse you can move them. That's somebody else, that's not ours. That's somebody who left their mouse. Oh. Yeah. So unfortunately, you know, I have to use my wireless mouse in this class. But I'll be kind of walking back and forth right here, kinda of, kinda of teaching. Alright guys, so again, superficial structures and advanced practices. We're gonna be using your um your um your anatomy book you already have. This book right here, this is uh, this volume one. This abdomen and superficial structures. We're gonna be using this one probably throughout the whole uh, the, throughout the whole semester. So bring this book to class every day, guys. 
I will say on this class, guys, it's really important that you read, read, read. You're gonna have to read in order to pass this class. A lot of reading and um, understanding. I would say memorization, but I don't like that word. Okay, so reading and understanding. Okay, I'm gonna uh, help you guys do that. So again, you already know, I'm uh, Mr. North Um Like I said, me and Ms. Shepherds, we're gonna be team teaching this class. Um, doing, um, again, I'm doing normal, she's gonna be doing uh, pathology, right? So, the course description of this class, I'm just gonna read it to you. Um, lectures, class discussions, demonstrations, emphasizing key medical terms, anatomy and physiology as it relates to normal and abnormal superficial structure. Also evaluating and exploring advanced sonographic practices such as neurosynology, that's a PD brain, and ultrasound guided surgical procedures. So the good thing about this class that I really, I'm really happy about is that, um, again, like I told you guys, I've been, I was working over the holidays, so at my new job, I um, do a lot of procedures now. So instead of just doing ultrasound, we do a lot of procedures. So I'll be able to better explain like these surgical procedures and different procedures like FNAs and um, biopsies and any kind of ultrasound guided um, procedures. Okay, so paracentesis, thoracentesis. Actually, you guys have to get a thoracentesis as one of your competencies before you graduate. Okay, and I'll go over clinic guys and physics class. Mr. Patel wanted to be here to go over clinic with me, so I have a much better prepared lecture for uh, for physics. Of course, this one is my favorite class, and um, than what we have today. All right, so, um, and also, you have to do a baby head. Actually, I worked on ordering a phantom, a phantom baby head, so hopefully that's coming in soon. I know we ordered it. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get here, but we ordered it like last couple of months ago or maybe a month ago, all right? So, some course goals and objectives. Students will complete this course successfully. We'll be able to um, apply didactic education into the clinical experience. Guys, the superficial structures, Super important to um, the admin portion of your um, your registrar. Okay, there's no separate section for small parts of superficial structures. It's going to be included on the abdominal exam. Okay, so most of the exam is going to be over abdominal structures, especially liver, kidney, but also you can't forget the most important parts of um, superficial structures like thyroid. It may, it may it may be specific. You know, it may be vague. So. You know, you have to definitely understand these uh, different small parts, all right? So, uh, recognize normal and abnormal anatomy of the thyroid, breast, scrotum, and musculoskeletal system. Learn how, to, how the pediatric spine, hip, and head are imaged with sonography. Have you guys been looking at PD hips at LBJ? They do them all the time. Have y'all been seeing how, do y'all understand what they're doing with the PD hips? You know, so, uh, so basically, I'm, I'm gonna cover that, guys, because I know at LBJ, they don't, they don't really, I don't, I'm not saying they don't do it the right way, but they don't do do it with the measurements, because you're actually supposed to have measurements and landmarks according to these angles lined up with the hip joint. You know, So basically, LBJ, they just say, they have the spoon, which is the acetabulum, right? Y'all see that, and they're kinda, if it's 50% in the spoon, then they're like, oh, it's good, right? So do they say that to you? So if the if the if the fem the head of the femur is in the acetabulum, which is the hip joint, if it's in the if it's in the spoon fifty percent, then it's no dislocation. Because if you're born breech, then they probably have to pull the baby's leg, and that's the reason for that exam right there. So if the hip joint, if the head of the femur is in the hip fifty percent, then they're saying that it's not dislocated. It's a good it's a good joint. But if it's out of the joint, which is really obvious, so if this is my hip joint and the head of the femur is right there, mm -hmm. then you can clearly see that it's dislocated. Mm -hmm. All right? But there's much, it's a lot more complex than that when you think about the angles you have to apply in order to um, determine whether it's how much is, is in the joint versus how much is out of the joint. Okay? And we'll cover that so you have a better understanding. Same thing with the baby head. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen those too, right? Y'all see the baby heads and they're just kind of from anterior to posterior, just picture, 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 picture. And you just kind of there looking like, oh, okay, you know, I don't know any of these structures, I don't know any of these landmarks. So we're gonna cover that anatomy as well, okay? We're gonna learn the physiology of the breast, 
thyroid and scrotum. Okay? I will say this, thyroid and scrotum, um, they're pretty similar like doing the kidney. We're gonna be doing transverse, superior, mid, inferior, mid at the measurement, just like a kidney. We're gonna do long, lateral, mid, medial. Mid, mid at the measurement, just like a kidney. Measure two times in, in the sagittal plane, just like a kidney. So these small structures are really, you know, once you get the little pattern of how you image down, really easy to, to get and understand. That's why I wanna take you to the lab so at least you can kind of practice or at least when you see in the thyroid in clinic, you'll know what's going on. Usually this class is kind of lined up with, um, with I know like last year, that's gonna get on my nerves. <laughs> I know last year, this class is kind of lined up with lab. So unfortunately this year, um, I don't know, because you guys started in the summer, right? So you guys kind of are ahead, you know, so, um, this class is usually kind of, when we're doing a thyroid in lab, when you're doing thyroid in class. We're doing scrotum or, you know, breast, you kind of, we're talking about it in lab as well. But unfortunately, you guys are gonna probably learn this first before she teaches it in lab. So, but also, I'm gonna kind of give you that heads up today when we go to lab and um, get you more familiar with just the anatomy of the thyroid and the structures around it. So you'll know what's medial and lateral to it. Okay. Um, Okay. Any questions so far, guys? Questions so far? Today is the easy day. Today is it's a Wednesday, but like Cass said, it feel like a Monday. It feel like a Monday. So today we're gonna take it easy, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna hit it hard, definitely on Friday. All right. So our required text. I already told you that. That's your um, your textbook that you already have. Kamamara um, and Tanya Nolan. I think Ms. Shepard said she's going back to the Hague and answer next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so daily work and homework. Um, as, this, as this course goes, I'm definitely going to be uh, assigning some homework, you know, just to help reinforce the learning. Okay, like uh, I don't know, I, I was even thinking about incorporating, like um, what do you call it, like crosswords? Not crosswords. What do you call it? My grandma likes to do. Uh, they come in the Sunday, and then they got the hint. Word search. Mm -hmm. Word, not word search, not word search. That's crossword puzzles. Crossword puzzles. Crossword, okay, crossword puzzles. I think about it, I bought, a, I bought an app where I can kind of make my own custom uh, crossword puzzle. So hopefully I'll get that going this semester and you guys can kind of reinforce uh, what we're doing in the class as far as the uh, uh, glossary. Okay. We do have, uh, of course, we have exams, guys. These exams, they're, they're going to be. Um, um, multiple choice, but I'm also going to have images in this class, okay? So there will be some fill in the blank, uh, fill in the blank part portions on your exam. All right, so it may be I may have a PowerPoint test where I just have images of, you know, cross sectional anatomy of the thyroid, and I may point at a structure. What's this structure lateral to the thyroid? What blood vessel is this? Okay? You're going to have fill in the blank lines where you're going to have to tell me what that vessel is. So if it is a vessel, please differentiate between an artery and a vein. Okay? If it's an artery, say it's an artery. If it's the common carotid artery, say that. Don't just say common carotid, because I will mark that wrong. You have to be specific when you're discussing an anatomy. Okay? All right. So we have um, exams and homework. That's going to be 70% of your grade, and the comprehensive final is going to be 30%. I kind of keep it the same. However, Ms. Shepard um, had this class before, I keep it the same until I can make it fully mine when I get uh, uh, better with this class. All right, y'all know how to make an A in this class, <laughs> 94 and up. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Um, here it is right here, guys. Penalties for late work. There will be a late penalty of five points deducted from the final grade if you turn in something late. So if I sign, I sign homework and if it's late, it'll be five points in this class. All right. Is that going to be the five blank homework? Five points. Uh, I'm going to have I'm going to incorporate some homework similar similar to that, similar to that. Um, probably. I'm gonna make some homework. It's I don't know how it's gonna be yet. Like I said, I'm thinking about doing crossword puzzles oh. or or something similar to that. But you definitely gonna have some crosswords. Homework. More interesting. Definitely, definitely. I'm trying to you know spruce it up, make it more lively, make it more fun. 
Yeah. But um, you're definitely gonna have some homework in here. But this class is already, you already have like four classes, guys. I'm not gonna be trying to bog you down with too much information. You know, as uh, long as you get